Good day. In this video, we're going to look at reduction in trig in grade 11 and how to change these ratios to a ratio of theta. Enjoy the video. We're going to work on a Cartesian plane. We need to know the cos diagram, cos all sine and tan where they are positive. We need to know that a positive direction on a Cartesian plane is this way around and a negative direction in maths intrigue is this way around on the Cartesian plane. In the reduction, we need to know in which quadrant we are. So the first one we're going to do is theta. Theta is always an acute angle. An acute angle meaning, if you see theta in the reduction formula, we assume it's an acute angle. So it's a positive theta, so we're going to go from naught up. So positive theta is in this quadrant. Remember that in trigonometry, Positive is this way around. Easy to remember. It's not 90, 180, 270, 360. So we know this is positive. We've always done it that way. Now negative will be in this direction around this way. So it's negative 90, negative 180, negative 270, and negative 360. Don't make it difficult. It's not as difficult as it sounds. The next one we're going to do is a negative theta. Please assume that theta will be an acute angle. So negative theta that I wrote over there means that we'll start at naught and we'll go in a negative direction. That is the fourth quadrant. So negative theta is in the fourth quadrant. The next one is 180 plus theta. We start here. We go 180. That's first 90 and then that's 180. So there's 180. But it's 180 plus theta. So we go an acute angle further on. So we are in the third quadrant. The next one is going to be 90 plus theta. So we start at naught. We go up to 90, which is like there. And then we go plus theta. That's plus an acute angle. Forces us in the second quadrant. Next one is 90 minus theta. We start at naught. We first go 90. Then minus theta is in this direction. So we are in the first quadrant. Then minus theta minus 90. It's all logic from here. Start here. Minus theta means you are going in a negative direction for an acute angle. So we start at naught. And we go into this quadrant first. That's negative theta first. Now I've got to go from there, minus 90. I bring this guy here. I'm at negative theta, and I go minus 90 from here. So that means I will be in this quadrant. Minus theta, minus another 90. That's that one. Minus 180 plus theta. We start at naught. We first do the minus 180. So we go from naught up to here. Minus 180, and now plus theta. So it means we go in this direction. Be careful. Everybody wants to keep going in this direction. We are in the third quadrant. Next one is theta minus 90. We start here. Theta is an ac plus acute angle in this quadrant. Minus 90. So I come here first. And then I go minus 90, say, from theta. So it's first theta. Minus 90 forces me into the fourth quadrant. This is the fourth quadrant. Theta minus 180. I start at naught. Get my theta first, which is an acute angle in a positive direction. We are there. From there, I want minus 180. So I just bring this guy up to him. That's where theta is. And I'm minus 180. That is straight through to the third quadrant. Uh, this one is 360 minus theta. I start at naught. A little bit hard work. So we're going to go 360. Right around is 360. Now I've done that one, but I'm not finished. Minus theta forces me in this direction. 360 minus theta is in the fourth quadrant. Last one, theta minus 360, I start at naught. I do my theta first, and then I go from there, minus 360. So I just bring this guy up, and I go minus 360 all around till I get back here. Quite logic. So this one is in the first quadrant. Now to converting some ratios. Um, first thing that you need to remember is you need to know your cost diagram. The cost diagram indicating in which quadrant which ratio is positive. Here where it says all, all the ratios are positive, sine and cosec is positive, well, cosec not important, tan and cot is positive, and then cos and sec is positive. Get the names we're not going to use. Firstly, we say, we say all is positive in the first quadrant, sine positive in the second quadrant, tan positive in the third quadrant, and cos positive in the fourth quadrant. Second, you need to know that positive the angles are in this direction and the negative angles are going to work in this direction. Then, for the purpose of this ex explanation, 
you need to know that theta is going to be an acute angle. Choose a size, say for instance 45 degrees in your head, not the number, just the size of an acute angle, and then use that all the time. The next one, remember, in your answer, you will put a bracket for me, a plus and a minus, a name, that's one of your ratios, and then theta, and then close the bracket again. Bracket is not important, but I do want them, please. Then you must remember that if you have anything with a 180 and the theta, pluses or minuses, doesn't matter, you will not change the name. If you have any bracket that they give you in a question with a 90 plus or minus beta or the other way around with pluses or minuses, the name will change from sine to cos and cos to sine. You'll see it as we go. So here is our first two examples. We have a sine 90 minus theta and a sine 180 minus theta. Here the name won't change, so I'll keep it sine over here. Here the name will change to cos. This sine 90 minus theta, I will change the name to cos theta. Then I'll check in which quadrant I am. Start at north, go to 90, backwards for an acute angle. I'm in this quadrant. All is positive in this quadrant. We wrote it down here. And because sine is positive here, I put a plus over there. Just remember the original name sides on the sine. So that one's done. This sine stays sine. 180 minus theta. I start at naught. 180 minus theta, an acute angle. I'm in the second quadrant. Because of the in cost, I know that sine is positive. That's this answer. And now quickly took all the ratios that I have here. It's got 90 plus theta or minus theta and showed you how it changes. So the cos with a 90 plus or minus becomes a sine. The sine with a 90 plus becomes a cos. The sine with a 90 plus becomes a cos. And the cos 90 plus or minus becomes a sine. Now let's just find out in which quadrants they are. And then put in a plus or minus. From here it's easy. This first one again, 90 minus theta to see what my sine here will be. Start at naught, go to 90, backwards an acute angle, I'm here. All is positive. So this is a positive because of the sign that is positive. This one, I've got a 90 plus theta. I changed the name already. So I check in which quadrant I am. I start at naught. That's 90 plus an acute angle. I'm in the second quadrant. S is positive here. This is cos, so he's going to be negative there. So I put a negative there. Next one, got the 90 plus theta here, so I change sine to cos theta. Check which quadrant I'm in. Start at 9 naught, plus 90, plus an acute angle, I'm here with s. I go up here, I see that is sin, so I put a plus over there. The next one, I see I've got a cos 90 minus theta here. I already changed the name to sine because of the 90 plus minus. Now I check in which quadrant I am, 90 minus theta, I start at naught. Go to 90, minus an acute angle, I'm here at all. Because cos is positive there, I put a plus over there. And that are the four of them. Just quickly again, because of the 90s plus and minus, the name changes. Then I check in which quadrant I am, which you now understand. And that decides on the plus or minus, but this name decides on the plus or minus. This name decides on the plus or minus. And these four that I'm working with now, that's this one, these four. Because there's no 90 plus or minus at the back here, I keep the name that I had. I'm going to just check if it's a plus or a minus now in, in front every time and ch by checking which quadrant I'm in. Here I've got a 360 minus theta, so I start at naught, 360 minus theta. So it says C here for cos, that is a cos, so I put a plus there. I'll do it now. Then I've got sine. 180 plus theta, I start at naught, go right around, sorry, to 180, and then plus theta, I see a T there, that makes this one negative. Here I've got a 180 minus theta, let's check if it's a plus or minus, I take 180 minus theta, I start here, 180 minus theta, I'm at S, I see it, makes a S, so I put a plus there, cos 180 plus theta, I got 180 plus theta, I stand here, Plus 180 plus theta, I see a T there, there's a C there, that makes that a minus. The answers will then look like this. And then I, a lot of people believe that you can leave out these pluses. I don't. I put my minuses, put my pluses, it forces me to remember what to do. First I put a bracket, then I put my name and theta, 
and then I put a plus or minus. Here I have another batch of ratios that I must change. Um, quickly just I wrote in my brackets and I wrote in my names. Um, what we have here is we have a 10, no 90 problem, so the name stays. Sign, no 90 problem, so sign. Cos, no 90, so cos. Cos, there's no, we'll check that one just now. Cos, there's no 90, so the name change, doesn't change. 10, no 90, no name change, stays 10. Here is a theta plus 90, so the name change from sign to cos. Here is a 90 plus or minus, so sign change to cos. Now let's just find out if they plus or minus. This minus theta means we start at naught, we make an acute angle backwards, we are in the fourth quadrant. Tan is negative there, that's why I put the minus there. Here I've got a 180 minus theta, I start at naught, I go plus theta, it's a acute angle, I go minus 180 back here. And here sine is negative, that's why I put a negative there. 360 plus theta, start at naught, do a 360 plus theta, all is positive, so cos is positive. This 540 is a little bit of a mouthful. You can either minus 360 immediately and see what you got, or I do it with what I see. Use my calculator. I start at naught, do a 360, minus it from 540, and see I still have a 180. And I go up to 180, and then minus theta, I'm here. And that says sine is positive, cos is negative. I put my minus. Use your calculator, stop the video, and just check what I did. Here I've got a minus theta, so I start at naught, minus theta is here. Cos is positive, there is a cos, I put a plus. Now we do minus theta, minus 180, I start here. Minus theta, minus 180, I'm in this quadrant. Sine is positive here, so tan is negative, I put my negative there. Here I've got sine, and I've got naught plus 90, then the name changes to cos. Just check which quadrant I am in, to see where sine is positive or negative. I start with naught plus theta, plus 90, it forces me in this quadrant. I see sine is positive, therefore I put a positive there, because the sine is positive, Not I don't even look at the cos. Now the sine became a cos here because of the 90 in this bracket, plus or minus theta. So I check which quadrant I'm in. I'm going to go from naught, minus theta, minus 90 forces me into this quadrant. I can see here that sine is negative here, so I put a negative over there. We do not look in these brackets where minuses and stuff are. I physically let him tell me in which quadrant I am, and then I decide on my sign. Easy.